If you're not yet a subscriber, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the little bell icon so you can be alerted each and every time we make a new video. Hi, it's Ira, the Village's expert, coming to you today from the village of Tierra del Sol. Okay, we are out here in a little older area of the villages. Uh, the country club is right around the corner. We'll probably send the drone up, give everybody an idea of where this home sits in relation to where the country club is, where the uh, bar and grill is, where the where every, all the amenities are for in this area, okay? So um, I'm doing this video for John and Peggy. They are making an offer on this awesome home on the golf course. It is a gardenia. Um, the asking price is $449.9, so um, in the event some things don't work out, then you, the viewing audience, have an idea of what this home is going for now or went or close to what it went for um, when we made our offer. So there you go. It is, um, like I said, it's on the golf course. It's a beautiful home. Uh, they're selling it turnkey with the uh, furniture there. Also, it has a golf cart. We're going to make an offer on the golf cart. So uh, anyways, we're putting this all together for John and Peggy. So thank you, John. Thank you, Peggy, for asking for this video. And um, let's go ahead and get started and show you all what's inside. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. As I usually do, we'll go around the outside first. Take a look at the roof. The roof looks in pretty good shape from here. I don't see a lot of algae growing on the shingle, which is nice. Um, the shingle's look in pretty good condition. We are going to have a home inspection done on this home. Uh, gutters all around the front. Let's see if they're all the way around the house. This is a block and stucco home. And yes, there are gutters all around the house. Um, this garage has been stretched. So right here, we see where you have about a four foot stretch. Whenever you see the, the garage coming off the body of the house, you know the garage has been stretched, okay? Uh, this train air conditioner is a, uh, an original. So it is a 10 sear, the XE10 is a 10 sear air conditioner. So that air conditioner still works. And you know what they say, you can't stop a train, right? All right. Uh, so here's the um, backyard area. Now I'm looking at the lanai and whenever you see the lanai bump out from the rest of the house, then that lanai has been stretched, okay? So now we know the garage has been stretched and the lanai has been stretched. Also, huge home site, all right, very deep. And that's one of the things that attracted John and Peggy about this home site. They want to put a pool in. So there is definitely enough room out here to put a pool. In the back is the golf course. So there's a beautiful view with these oak trees and the Spanish moss hanging from the oak trees on the golf course. And then there's your um, sand traps. And that's usually about where people hit. They hit about to the sand trap. So I think we're out of golf ball range for this home and any danger of it getting hit by golf balls. All right, there's the starter shack right there. Next to it is the rec center. So the recreation center is very close to this home. And then as we peek through the trees here, that's where the pro shop is and the bar and grill. So that's very close to this home. So very nice location for this home. We'll go ahead and walk around here now. 
This is the other side of the house. So the first thing I see is, you know, the, uh, looks to me like these screens are gonna need to be replaced at some point. There's um, some worn areas there. So I'm gonna let John and Peggy know that they're gonna need to rescreen this in the not too distant future. Probably the home's gonna need to be, um, the home will need to be uh, pressure washed and painted here also. When you see it chalking up like that, you know it's getting time to paint the house. We do have um, insulated windows. They look in pretty good shape. I don't see a whole lot of problem. Now here's one thing I can tell you. In a lot of block and stucco homes, I do see settlement cracks. You'll see some stair stepping that goes like this from the block, from the grout. That's one thing I don't see on this home. So that's great. That is great, and especially with the fact that it does need to be painted, these, um, these settlement cracks would be noticeable. So I'm very impressed with not seeing any stair stepping or any settlement cracks. All right, so uh, here's your stretched garage. Now, one thing I'll point out, you see the distance from here to here. That's usually what you have on the other side as well. All right, so we'll look at it from here. But since it's been stretched, you can see all this area right in here is part of your stretched garage area. So you can notice from the front that it's been stretched as well. If I pan down or zoom down, I should say, there's the tennis courts and the pickleball courts way down the street there. Not too close where you wouldn't, if they are pickleball, you wouldn't hear them pretty far enough away. Let's go ahead and go on in. All right, so let's go ahead and go on in. This is your tile floor. So when I showed this home to John and Peggy, they didn't immediately ask to make an offer on this home. They went home, they thought about it, and they called me back and said, yes, they want to make an offer. But when they were here with me, we talked about this home. Now, what you're gonna see is a lot of dated things about this home. Wallpapers, one. Uh, luckily this is um, pretty much, I think uh, this is probably the only area where it's wallpapered. But it also has laminate countertops here rather than granite. The appliances are all original appliances. And quite possibly what you'd want to do with these cabinets or paint these cabinets. So granite, paint the cabinets, put new appliances in here, change out the flooring, paint the house inside and out. We talked about it. We said, well, probably what we're all what we're talking about, fifty thousand dollars. Actually, what we talked, so what we talked about was about $30,000. 
would need to be put into this home. Now this home on a golf course, uh, right, is definitely worth what they're, what we suggested, what we talked about, would definitely, any money they put into this house would definitely increase the value. Some people may or may not like this. It's non-bearing. It could be taken out if you wanted to, if you want to take it out. I think John said that he liked it, so it'll probably stay. It just designates your dining room area from your living room area. This is your view. You do have carpet in here. Take a little trip out here to the lanai. Has a Chattahoochee stone, they call it. You want to make sure that you keep a, um, a clear epoxy on this stone or else it'll start to deteriorate on you. So, word to the wise. So golf course properties in the villages are about, start at about 150,000. And one that's this deep would definitely be more. I'd say probably 175 just for the, um, the cost of the golf course lot. All right, so let's go into the guest area. It does have a pocket door. That's nice, back in 1999, that was a luxury. And they decided they were gonna go ahead with that when they ordered this home. This is one guest bedroom. Linen closet. This is your guest bathroom. You have vinyl sheet flooring in here. Original commode, small commode, vanity, carpet. All right, now these gardenias, the, um, the front bedroom almost never has a closet. Okay, so as we can kind of see in this room, it doesn't have the closet either. All right, back at the front door and your foyer. Let's go ahead and go on into the master side of the house. So you're off of the dining room or, in, or you're off of the kitchen. You have your laundry room. And then you have this little hallway that leads into the master bedroom. So this is what your master bedroom looks like. You have a sliding glass door that goes off to the lanai. So you have his and her closets. You have one closet on this side of the hallway with pocket doors, and then you have another closet with pocket doors that leads into the master bathroom. So this master bathroom has two sinks, matching cabinets to the kitchen. This is a, um, a cultured marble product. It's marble um, it's pulverized marble that's uh, mixed with an epoxy. And then uh, you have little um, designs that come out. 
making it look like marble again. Another little linen closet. Actually, it's not so little. It's a double closet door, so it's a pretty big closet. This is your uh, commode area with your tiled shower. So, looks like we need a little bit of caulking touch up around the bottom of the shower floor here. So that will do it for the master bathroom. And we'll start shutting lights out as we go. And last but not least, certainly not least, we have um, the garage. and the golf cart. Let's go ahead and lift, lift up the uh, garage door. One thing I didn't notice last time is it has a whole house vacuum cleaner. That goes through the roof and goes down into the walls. That's pretty neat. Um, here is the Yamaha golf cart four-seater. Very nice. And let's see. Uh, let's see if we can lift up the seat here and look at the motor. But uh, tires look brand new. You can even see they still have the little things on them there. Roll down um, uh, your winter guard. All right, so the motor. That looks brand new too. I mean, they didn't drive this cart very much. I can assure you that. There's some of the information about the cart. Okay. Now here's a shot of the um, of the screen that rolls down. So. Um, you have, I wanted to pull that out from under there. So you have a roll down screen. So you can see how that works. So that will wrap it up for for this video. We'll go ahead and shut out some lights. And there's a solar tube up there so that light doesn't shut off until the good Lord says when it's ready to. Which actually it's a little dark out because it is a cloudy day here.
All righty. So let's go ahead and take the drone and we'll put it up in the air and then we'll finish up this video. All right, let's go ahead and pull on into Tierra del Sol here real quick. Kind of give you an idea what things look like. Over there's the theater and the pro shop and the grill. The bar and grill is in the back. Have the recreation center here. Pool is over there. Bar and grill, golf shop, and the studio theater. All right, so there you have it. There's a tour of this home and uh, outside, inside, drone. Um, hopefully, uh, John and Peggy, you loved your video. I made it special for you but also for the viewing audience as well. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions about this home, um, it's a 1999 home, 1,927 square feet living area. Like I said, it was listed for $4.499 on the golf course here in the village of Tierra del Sol, in the villages. So thanks for watching. Uh, please give us your comments. We love your comments. If you're not yet a subscriber, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become one of our sub, uh, our subscribers. We'd love to have you. Also hit the uh, notification button, the bell icon, so you'll get notified each and every time we make one of these videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to call me or call my office. My office number is 352-204-9026 or my cell phone number 352-454-9561 or you could text on either number or call. Um, 
if you call me, I'm busy. I'm not going to answer. I'm busy working with people, giving them my undivided attention. So that's why I give my office number first, okay? Uh, also, you can email me at homesaroundthevillages at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.